control how your pet eats with just a press of a button and not through an app but with a real time lcd display at the sarbo power dispenser yes today we are building an automatic food dispenser using arduino that lets you set a custom time interval for dispensing food and guess what this idea came straight for our amazing subscriber kinetic tech v1 who commented please make an automatic food dispenser machine using arduino this one is for you if you have a cool idea drop it in the comments your request might be our next project now for this project you need one arduino uno one servo motor one 16 by 2 lcd display with i2c module four push button one small breadboard some jumper wires and usb cable let's start by connecting all the components together first of all take the arduino and breadboard now take the lcd display and i2c module and connect them like this now connect the gnd of the i2c module to the negative rail on the breadboard connect vcc of i2c to positive rail on the breadboard Connect it SDA to A4 on Arduino. Connect it SCL to A5 on Arduino. This uses I2C communication which means only two wires for data. Now let's connect the servo motor which will control the dispenser flap or container gate. Connect its orange wire that is signal wire to the pin P9 on Arduino. Connect its red wire to the positive rail on the breadboard. Connect its brown wire to the negative rail on the breadboard. Now we need four push button for user input. Insert them on the breadboard. Connect one leg of each button to the respective Arduino pin. Button 1 to pin 2 to set hours, button 2 to pin 3 to set minutes, button 3 to pin 4 to set seconds, and button 4 to pin 5 for the set or confirm action. Connect the other leg to the negative rail of the breadboard using mail to mail jumper wires. Finally, connect the 5V of Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard and GND of the Arduino to the negative rail of the breadboard. Double check the wiring according to the circuit diagram before proceeding, it's very important. Now download the code file given in the description below. Open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. Let's break down the code step by step. Step 1. Include required libraries. Where.h is for I2C communication with the LCD. Liquid crystal underscore I2C dot H controls the 16 by 2 LCD. Step 2. Create objects. The LCD is initialized with address 0 by 27, common for I2C module and size 16 by 2. My servo is our servo motor object. Now step 3. Define button pins and variables. Buttons are connected to pins 2, 3, 4 and 5. Set hour, set mean and set sec. We'll store the user input time. Interval second is a total time interval in seconds. Interval set tells us if the timer has been set. Step 4. Set a function. Initialize the LCD and turns on the backlight. Attach the server to pin 9 and sets it to 0 degree closed position. Configures the button as input underscore pull up. No external register needed. Display a welcome message for 2 seconds. Step 5. Main loops. Setting time. Before setting, the LCD shows set time and updates as buttons are pressed. Once set is pressed, we calculate the interval in seconds and store the current time. Step 6. Countdown and dispensing. Continuously calculate the remaining time. Displays the LCD in hour, minute, second format. When time is up, it calls dispense food function. Step 7. Dispense food function. Rotates the servo to 60 degree for 3 seconds and then closes back to 0 degree. Display dispensing during the process. Step 8. Format time function. Adds a leading 0 for single digit numbers like 090507. Now plug your Arduino into your computer using the USB cable. Upload this code to your Arduino. Select the correct code and COM port. Now click the upload button. Power of the Arduino, the LCD shows automatic food dispenser as a welcome message here. Use the buttons to set hour, minute and second for the dispensing interval. Hit set and countdown begins. When time's up, the server moves to release food for your pet, then resets and starts the next countdown. If you have enjoyed this project, hit like, share and subscribe to RoboArmy for more awesome DIY pets. And remember, got an idea? Drop in the comments. You ask, we build.